you have two ears and one mouth so you use them accordingly good morning good afternoon good day to you wherever in the world you are my name is meech if you're new to my channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber as always welcome back grateful to have you here if you are new to this series then you're probably wondering why it's called her 69 perspective i go into a bit more detail about why in my first episode so i will leave a link for it here or maybe here i'm not too sure just to give you a little roundup, just a small synopsis, basically discuss relationships and just how to have a different perspective on them from a female perspective and just how to see things through a different lens. So if you are interested in conversations like that, please do subscribe and of course, give this video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm and I'd appreciate it if you could help your girl out. And apologies for my hair if it is like flicking all left and right and everywhere. I had it in a style, which I'll leave a photo for here. And I've taken it out and it's just all over the place and doing its own thing, but we're just gonna let these little lucks run free. But anyway, apart from that, let's get straight into this video. If I were to do a survey and to ask what the most important skills in a relationship were, I'd probably have a lot of people say communication and communication is important. And then there are some people who say communication is only as successful as someone's comprehension skills, which I completely agree with. I feel like you can communicate until you're blue in the face, but if somebody doesn't comprehend what you are telling them, if somebody doesn't understand or even try to acknowledge what you are saying, then communication is not gonna work by itself. But with regards to communication, I feel like people don't understand how important communication, good communication is. And real communication means heart to heart. When I say heart to heart, I'm not talking about it loosely. I'm literally saying you need to speak from the heart and the other person needs to speak from the heart for it to be a real heart to heart and for it to be successful communication. I think the first thing to note when trying to have a real conversation and have real communication is that you need to learn to listen more than you speak. Growing up, I was told this so many times that I, I talk too much, like I'm not listening, I'm not listening. And as I grew older and I just matured a bit more, I learned that I actually don't listen. Without giving my age away, I'm 25 plus, and I won't say it has been that way the whole time, but definitely when I was in my early 20s, I probably spoke more. The last guy I dated was a very, very good listener, and he always used to tell me, you have two ears and one mouth, so you use them accordingly. I think that's been one, of, one quote that has stayed with me for the longest time, just to be able to listen more than you speak, to actually, realize that it's not you versus me it's us versus the problem and just being combative and defensive and not even trying to let the person speak without you interrupting i don't feel like any good can come from that conversation and no progress will be made with that communication either. And from this flows listening to understand, not to respond. A lot of the time when we are having conversations, we're listening, yeah, we're listening, but at the same time, you're kind of formulating your response. Like he's telling you, you don't do this and you don't do that, or I need this from you. And you're thinking, but hold on. When I was doing this, someone else. Rather than you actually listening to what he's saying, it stills the essence of what the person's even saying to you or what your partner's even saying to you. If rather than listening, you're listening, but getting your responses ready, like taking notes and taking bullet points. Are you even really listening? When you learn to listen to understand rather than listen to respond, you realize it allows you to speak on your own perspective rather than dismissing the other person's point of view. So rather than you racking up all the things you wanna kind of speak on and how you wanna to respond to everything they've said, once you listen and absorb everything they've said, you can respond in a way that's directly what your perception of what just happened was. If that doesn't make any sense, because I feel like that didn't make any sense coming out of my mouth. Basically what I'm trying to say is, when you are having a conversation, if you are listening to the person and not formulating everything you wanna say back, once they finish talking, when you do finally respond, it's gonna be more of, well, that wasn't how I meant for things to go down 
this is how I meant it. This is how I intended on approaching the situation. And of course, it allows you to acknowledge the other person's perspective because you can say, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm really sorry that I made you feel this way. I'm really sorry that this has happened and I completely understand and I completely acknowledge your feelings. This is how I saw it, but I completely understand where you're coming from. And you're not dismissing the other person's feelings. You're validating how they feel and you're still holding space for them. I think sometimes when you know you mean well, you don't realize how you've affected the other person. The only thing that can make the whole situation worse is if you then dismiss everything they're telling you. Which leads me on to my third point. You need to learn to be honest and vulnerable in the way you communicate. It takes a lot of courage to speak on your feelings and how you feel and open up to somebody and trust that it will be received well. It takes so much courage and not everybody has that courage. It's so much easier to lie. It's so much easier to be passive aggressive. It's so much easier to ignore it, deflect it, or even pretend it never happened. So it takes a lot of courage to actually be honest and to be vulnerable and have a real heart to heart. I think people think that it's only difficult for men to open up, but I've been in a relationship where the guy has found it so much easier and the guy has been the one sending paragraphs and he's been the one that's been very open in communication and it's been me who's kind of been reluctant to open up and reluctant to speak on how I feel just because I didn't trust that it was going to be received well. This advice can be taken out of the context of romantic relationships and used in any kind of relationship you have, whether it's a parent-child relationship, whether it's a friendship that's platonic, and of course, even in relationships, I feel like we can apply all of these things when trying to have real, open, honest conversation and have heart-to-hearts with somebody. I feel like it takes you much further and it grows the relationship and it allows you to grow closer as a unit. It builds trust in each other, especially if the conversation actually goes well and both people feel like what they said has been acknowledged. And even if it doesn't end well, I feel like it's a learning curve and it allows you to approach situations in the future in a better manner and learn to communicate better and it helps you tap into that inner G mindset which is super 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 important. So of course final words, parting words, the next time you are in a situation, relationship, friendship and you need to have a discussion with somebody and you need to discuss feelings, just remember to listen more than you speak, remember to be honest and vulnerable in your communication and remember, you need to listen to understand and not listen to respond. With these three skills, I don't feel like there's any communication that will be too difficult for you. So if you're watching this video and you're feeling like you can apply these skills or maybe you see where you've made mistakes in the past and you're willing to kind of grow from them, I commend you on having that awareness. I commend you on taking that first step and I wish you all the best on your journey of growth whether that's as an individual or growth in your current relationships. Let me know in the comments if I've missed anything. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, you can find me on all social media. Otherwise, stay fierce, stay real, and I'll see you guys on my next upload. Bye.